Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so I hope you find this one interesting. This movie is a comedy from New Zealand, in English language, released in the year 2016, directed by Taika Waititi, and this film is called The Hunt for the Wilder People. So Hunt for the Wilder People starts off with this young boy. He's very troubled. He's been in trouble with the law a lot, and he needs to find a foster home. So the Child Protection Services tell him that, yes, we've found a suitable family that are located in the remote areas of uh, New Zealand. It's a very boring sort of atmosphere, but this boy is going to have to learn to live with it. So he doesn't want to go to juvie, uh, basically juvenile detention, so he's going to have to try and make things work. So when he first gets to this home, he's greeted by the loving mother, but the father is very frosty, doesn't want anything to do with him, he's very miserable, so he doesn't really get a connection with him, but the more this mother shows this boy love, the more he starts to open himself up. But then tragedy strikes, which results in the man, the father, having to take care of the boy by himself, he doesn't want anything to do with this, he says, look, go away, I'm going to disappear into the wilderness for a while. So the young boy says, no, I'm not going anywhere, I'm your responsible. Responsibility, I'm coming with you. So reluctantly, the father takes this boy into the wilderness, but the complicated thing is that the public think that this man has kidnapped this boy. So the Child Protection Services and the police are hot on their heels as uh, they're starting to go through this, um, this uncharted sort of territory. So the more they actually uh, fight against Mother Nature and they have to band together and the more they get that connection. And this is where they realise maybe we don't want to be separated. So they're going to have to stay one step ahead of their pursuers if they are to make it. So whether or not they can, something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Hunt for the Wilder People. I was very excited to see this film because of the fact that Taika Waititi was responsible for a film called What We Do in the Shadows. Now he had a co-director for that film. I'm not quite sure what his name was. I do apologise. But he was responsible for the TV show Flight of the Concords. Now that's a show that I haven't seen but a lot of people go on about how funny that is. And one thing I noticed about Taika Waititi and his co-director in What We Do in the Shadows is that they have a knack for comedic genius. They have a knack to make you really laugh through the writing. Not necessarily the body actions of the particular character, but the way it's written, the way these characters are actually brought to life in a very vivid fashion, but at the same time in a fashion where you can really connect to them. So obviously what we do in the shadows was a mockumentary about vampires, but it had that charm to it that it actually allows you to really, really enjoy it. And it has a very similar tone from start to finish. The thing that you would get in a lot of these directors' films is that the tonal, there are no tonal differences. Now, a lot of criticism I have of comedy, especially comedy from Ricky Gervais, who I, I really respect that comedian, but the problem with his movies is that he has a lot of tonal changes in his TV shows as well, is that you're laughing at one stage, but then there's a tonal shift where you actually feel really depressed. And because you're feeling really happy, really depressed, really happy, really depressed, there are moments in his TV shows and movies that you're not looking forward to. So you're not really enjoying it from start to finish. You feel as though it's a roller coaster, and it's a roller coaster you don't necessarily want to be on. So I think he's a brilliant comedian, but I think that his movies, there are too many tonal shifts, and there's a lot of comedies out there that have that same problem, but I feel that Taika Waititi, he doesn't have that problem, and this is exactly what he demonstrates in Hunt for the Wilder People. This is a movie that does show you a character study of you know broken people, people who aren't accustomed to love. And once they are exposed to love and exposed to the innocence of children, this is where their other sort of personality can shine through, but it never gets melodramatic, it never is hitting you over the head trying to dictate how you should feel, which is the, the problem I have with Ricky Gervais, as I just said, is that he hits you so hard that you feel as, okay, I was laughing there, but now I'm really depressed, I want to slit my wrists, and that's not something you exactly want from a comedy, you want a comedy to make you feel really good, and I think Taika Waititi does a great job at making you feel very good, the tone is not different from, you know, from the start to the finish, there is a very consistent tone. Yes, there are some moments that are tragic, there are some moments that are emotional, but it never gets to a melodramatic purpose where you feel as though it's trying to make you feel in the dumps. It's just trying to give you a little bit of elevation in the story, is that these characters are blossoming as a result of the circumstances of what's going on. So I think that everything in this film has a very strong purpose, and that purpose is to create these very natural characters, and these characters, they stay the same, it's not a case where this miserable guy, all of a sudden out of the blue, the next day he wakes up, all of a sudden he's really happy and he's a different person, it's a very unrealistic uh, you know, transition from one person to another, whereas in this movie, he starts this main character played by Sam Neill, brilliantly played by Sam Neill, he's miserable, but then as he starts to get funnier and he starts to get more likeable, he still has that miserable quality about him. So you feel as though, okay, he's still 
attached to that person that he is. And yes, some people are just miserable, but you feel like he's starting to lighten up a little bit. And so it never really feels like he's leaving from that particular person. It doesn't feel like it's a complete miraculous change. It always feels like these people are very real people, are very loving people. And that's the reason why you can really appreciate it is because it feels very natural. It's a very realistic portrayal of hardships and you know uh, love coming from hardships. And it's very uplifting. And at the same time, it's very sad is because sometimes it takes a very tragic thing to actually let your good side come out. And that's what I think this movie does so well. And another reason why I love this movie is I thought the chemistry between this young kid, can't recall his name, I am sorry about that, but the chemistry between him and Sam Neill's character was absolutely fantastic. They were both smart asses. They were both on the wrong side. You know, they're both miserable. But then as they, they, they start to bring out the best in each other. And that is basically the, the charm of this film is that these characters... They just, they were oblivious to the warmth and that they were used to the cold environment and this is what basically shaped them as people. But it does show you that even the most miserable people can blossom into something a little bit better when they are shown a little bit of warmth. So I really like that and that's what I think the heart of this film really, that, that's the reason why it really works as well as it does. Now on, the, on top of that, you've got, as I said, a great comedy. It's hilarious the way it's written. Some of the jokes were fantastic. There's different sorts of sub-genres within the comedy genre that I think work fantastic it's a demonstration of how New Zealand really understand this genre and I actually think they're the lead runners as far as comedy is concerned uh, especially recently but on top of that you've got a strong sense of adventure now this strong sense of adventure is shown through the cinematography uh, this shows you the beautiful landscapes of New Zealand and it does show you how vast this landscape is and so when they go into the wilderness not only do they have to stay out of the clutches of their pursuers but they've also got to fight what nature brings to them and so it's kind of like a survivalist movie and so you do have that strong sense of adventure that really does get you into the entertainment and there is certain there are countless situations that are very natural that do allow these characters to really blossom in the comedic tone uh, there are situations that's come about where you think okay this is really funny and it set itself up perfectly well is because it's very natural it feels like it had a very strong idea and it's just com uh, comedic geniuses who really know what they're doing so the acting was great you know the characters the supporting characters were larger than life they just come into it and it snowballs into something so much bigger than what you get at the start and all in all it's just a fantastic film yet another showcase of how good New Zealand are as far as comedy is concerned there are some problems I had with the film although the continuity is very good although there aren't any tonal differences I still thought that there were some characters and there were some situations that really weren't needed. It doesn't really bog it down, but I feel as though, okay, the continuity could have been a lot more smoother if these certain areas were just polished up a little bit. I just thought that there were moments that didn't quite drag, but it just didn't really... Uh, th there's a very fast approach that this film has, but there were certain elements that slow it down just a little bit, and it does prevent it from being an absolute masterpiece. But in the end, what you get, as I said, is a film that I really appreciated for what it tried to do. It's a very respectful uh, comedy. It knows exactly what it wants to do. It's not hitting you with tonal differences where you feel as though, okay, I'm really happy. Oh, I'm, I'm very sad. I'm really happy, sad. You don't feel like a manic depressive actually watching this film. You feel as though it knows exactly what it's doing and it's uh, it's basically a movie with that it's very comfortable in the genre that it's in. So overall, for uh, a Hunt for the Wild of People, going to give it four and a half stars. Go out there and see it. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.